you fertilize your hay meadow, you work all summer putting your hay up, hauling it in, only to waste half of it in the winter by using a conventional hay ring. What you need is a hay conserver feeder. The hay conserver feeder, we guarantee you, you'll feed 30% less hay. We've sold over 6,000 of these in the last six years, all of them with the money back guarantee. How does it work? Let me show you. You can see a bale sitting inside this feeder. A cow has to commit. They have to put their head inside and stay here while they eat. Cattle are a lot like us. They're not that energetic that they'll go in, get a bite, and back out. They stay in the feeder. Anything that drops out of their mouth falls back in the feeder, which they'll eat at a later time. Whereas you know with a hay ring, the ring is right up against the hay. They tear it out, they stand outside the feeder, half of it falls out of their mouth, they step on it, and they'll never touch it again. That hay is waste, and you've paid money for that, whether you went out and bought the bales or whether you put the bales up yourself. So be more efficient with your hay. Don't waste it. Use a good hay conserving feeder. Now we have a, another feeder over here. For those of you that have horn cattle, you notice this feeder is a little taller and you'll notice that there's wider spacing between the neck rails. This is allowed for your horn cattle to get in here and eat hay and be as efficient as the original hay conserver feeder. You know, when you come on the market with something good and it really works and it really saves people money, the first thing people want to do is they want to copy you. But the problem with that is they're always trying to do it cheaper. This is an example of a, uh, we call it a knockoff feeder that came out. If you see this in an ad or a brochure separately, not sitting next to our hay conserver feeders, it's going to look very similar. Some people say, hey, I saw a feeder looks just like yours. It's identical and, uh, you know, it's so much cheaper. And, and I said, well, you know, what's the dimension of the feeder? The hay conserver is eight and a half foot by nine and a half foot at the base. This feeder is eight by eight. The hay conserver is six and a half by seven and a half at the top. This is less than six foot square. Can you imagine cramming a five by six bale in this thing? Let me tell you, it's not easy. Thirdly, the hay conserver feeder, if you'll notice, has a flare to the leg. You'll notice this feeder comes down and makes a straight 45 degree down to the down to the ground. We discovered this would increase the efficiency of this hay feeder 5%. When these first came on the market, we advertised them at a 25%. Now we advertise them as a 30% less hay usage. This is a cheaper way to build a feeder because there's all this pipe they can cut the same length and weld it together. But if you notice on this feeder, every rail of pipe is a different length. Why do we go to that trouble? Because it makes it work. If you're running 10 bales a week through a hay ring and you drop it to seven, that means less trips to the pasture to load that hay ring, right? Well, that means less fuel, less wear and tear on your truck, and some morning when you wake up and it's sleeting sideways outside, you think, aha, I don't have to go load the hay rings today because I have hay conserver feeders.